Nintendo probably wants you to forget this game exists. Nintendo have always been known for their light-hearted, fun, colourful games. <laughs> Oh, and unintentional childhood trauma. The Nintendo 64 era was no exception, and one of the best developers they had under their belt at the time was Rareware. They made a pretty small game, uh, not sure you've heard of it, it's called Banjo-Kazooie, an amazing 3D platformer collector fun that took full advantage of the console's capabilities. It was a smash hit, and it's still talked about and played to this day. Rare were known for their child-friendly, colourful platformers, and after their sequel to Banjo-Kazooie, rightfully named Banjo Tui, they got to work on their next silly little platforming game. Then it came out, and something seemed a bit off. Why is it rated for mature audiences? Why is this silly squirrel holding a glass of alcohol? And why is the female one making me feel things that would make Jesus feel shame? Conker's Bad Fur Day was a complete 180 compared to Rare's previous games. Sure, it was still a collector fun platformer, but this time with gore, swearing, guns, excreting the yellow stuff that is the same color as the limited ad symbol on YouTube. I have a Patreon, by the way. Oh, and we can't forget Scousers. Yeah, there it is, over there. Big ball of poop. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I can imagine a lot of careless parents bought this game for their kids without analysing the cover properly. Good parenting. To be fair, Nintendo fully allowed this game, so it's, it's kind of on them. Conker's Bad Fur Day stars a little squirrel fella called, well, Conker. He drinks a bit too much on a night out, and he ends up waking up in some random ass place completely hungover. It's obvious it's not gonna be a good day for him. In fact, you could call it a Bad Fur Day. Yeah. He needs to get home to his girlfriend, Barry, but it's easier said than done, and holy shit, the game just goes absolutely crazy with this plot. You end up going from stealing a beehive from a hornet's nest, to fighting in a war, witnessing all of your teammates die in front of your eyes. To this day, I am still really impressed with how they managed to make this scene play out on a Nintendo 64 of all things. Oh, and we cannot forget the most iconic boss fight in the game. A poo that sings opera music. I am the great mighty poo and I'm going to throw my shit at you. Poop is funny! Did you seriously think I was joking here? This sloppy fella is beyond iconic. In fact, G Fuel is literally making a poo flavor based off of him. Please send me a tub of this G Fuel. Sponsor me. I want to drink powdered feces, I beg. You find him in this poo town populated by Scouser dung beetles. It's a lovely homage to how Liverpool actually is in real life because this game is made by British people. And they know that Liverpool is a complete shithole. The game plays like your standard platformer. You jump around collecting collectibles to progress to new areas. The collectibles being wads of cash. Sentient cash that Conker shoves into an undisclosed location when he grabs it. I mean, I mean, where else could it go? He, 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 he must not be wearing pants for a reason, fellas. It isn't just a platformer though. Just like the happy tone and music is, is very much misleading. There are sections where the game turns into shit like a third person shooter where you're shooting zombies in a graveyard, or it turns into a racing game, or it turns into the literal matrix. It has a lot of different gameplay mechanics and it keeps Conker's Bad Fur Day very refreshing all the way through. Now, obviously I've left it a bit late, but we can't talk about Conker's Bad Fur Day without talking about its soundtrack. Let's be real, everyone has heard one specific song from this game, and it's the music that plays in the first area of the game. You'll be happy to know that the game is full of absolute bangers like this one. They all completely range in genre. For example, there's this gothic ass music that sounds so extravagant, despite the fact all you're doing in the level is shitting on civilians as a bat. Poop is funny! Cheeky fuckers even managed to make farts sound good. It should be its own subgenre that I'd like to call Jazzy Poo. Sadly though, the game hasn't aged too well. The game was designed around this abomination of a controller, so a lot of the gimmicky sections just kind of feel horrific to play, especially the shooting sections. But hey, the immense amount of charm this game oozes completely negates any frustrations I have with it. It's just an awesome game, and we will never get anything like it again, sadly. I just want to remind you that Nintendo allowed all of this, by the way. In in fact, the only thing they had an issue with was a deleted scene where it's implied this weasel fella beats the shit out of Pikachu. They allowed the Mac off opera singing shit though. It's obvious Nintendo were not happy with this game though, because a few years after the release of Conker's Bad Fur Day, Nintendo sold Rareware to Microsoft. And 
yeah, there was a remake for Conker's Bad Fur Day funded by Microsoft and some other stuff we don't talk about anymore. That was all years ago, and it doesn't seem like they have any plans to do anything with Conker in the future. He's basically dead. Rest in peace. I mean, apart from the G Fuel that got announced recently. By the way, I'm very willing to take that off your hands, G Fuel. Send me it. It being abandoned wouldn't be an issue if it was easy to access to play. Obviously, useless parents back in the day probably spread the word not to buy the game after buying it themselves for their kids and seeing the funny squirrel say fuck. And because of that, the game sold like complete shit. Seriously, look at the price this game goes for now. It's basically a collector's item. Playing it on the Nintendo 64 is practically impossible, unless you take out a loan. And because the IP is owned by Microsoft now, the only way to play it easily is through Rare Replay, which they should put on Steam by the way, I I I'm just saying. Oh, of course you can also but don't tell anyone I told you that, especially not Nintendo. Oh, f oh fuck, they found me.